World Team Championship. So Tal Energy's World Team Championship. And we are waiting for the last match of the time, which will be England and Egypt. That is the uh, women's double. So far, England convincingly up uh, for nothing. And this is uh, the players for the last match, Jessica Hopton, Jessica Pugh from England up against Yusri uh, and uh, Dora Honey from uh, Egypt. That is, uh, the English players, Jessica Rose Pugh is actually making their way on to um, court where the court officials already are waiting. So They've uh, only played three tournaments together so far. These two uh, ladies, they formed their partnership in uh, the Portuguese International in 2021, where they um, reached the semi-final loss to Bush and Schultz from Denmark. Noor Ahmed Yosri and Doha Hani from Egypt. Has played that tournament and then two tournaments in Spain. Here's the, the Egyptians. We've seen Doha Hani in the uh, mixed doubles earlier and uh, Noor Ahmed Yosri in the uh, teenage battle in uh, women's single. The Olympian from um, Tokyo. This has been in all three categories, but um, could not record a win. Nor Ahmed uh, Yusri. I played a whole lot of international women's double. Nineteen. Um, big upon twenty matches uh, so far. Seven if wins. Black, no black, previous head-to-heads uh, between these two pairings. Black, your matches. You deserve. Who will receive and which side? Who will receive? Okay. So, the English won the point toss and elected to uh, serve. Jessica Hopton, not the tallest of athletes, uh, 24 years of age from uh, Bristol. 16. Ranked 145th in the world after three tournaments, has a highest rank so far in her career with uh, Vicky Williams, Victoria Williams. Jess Pugh has been uh, 26 in the world with um, Chloe Birch, who now is playing with um, Lauren Smith and um, also participated at uh, the Olympics. Rose Pugh there, born in uh, Telford, west of uh, Birmingham, but now lives in uh, Milton Keynes, almost halfway between. Birmingham and uh, London. And uh, I can tell you that um, Jessica Pugh has two international wins together with uh, Sarah Walker and Cheryl Sane. Here is uh, Noor Ahmed Yusri. No ranking with uh, Hani Doha. Um, this is uh, the first time they play together in this uh, World Team Championship. Doha ranked 35th with uh, Hatia Hosni. Qualifier for the Olympics, you must be inside the um, top 50 in the uh, world ranking. And 
ready to play. Two previous matches they played against them. Kaneko gets um, a mixed up there. Maybe Kaneko that should not that count in. Uh, Women's doubles, that was Matsuyama and uh, Shida who played uh, women's double for uh, Japan. I didn't actually pay enough attention to see who they uh, played against Malaysia, but I know it was uh, Tiumi uh, Shi. And uh, Yapling, who was uh, on her, was uh, Fred Cox, and uh, she was just uh, Stefan Benet. As I mentioned, two uh, international winners to uh, Jessica Pugh that was back in 2016, two different partners and uh, this is actually her 14th different partner that she's playing at senior level right now, Jessica Pugh. So, it's difficult to uh, sort of um, figure out a game plan when uh, there's so many changes. And now playing with uh, Jessica Hobson and uh, of course favorites in uh, this batch here. Jessica Pugh, Idoa Hani, Love All, Play. What's going on? One love. Good rally by uh, Hani and uh, Yoshri. Very patient play by two Egyptians. Only to uh, give the point back through a uh, service error by uh, Yoshri. Beautifully there, One. Jessica Hobson. to see in this match that um, 
Playing in usually, they can uh, play along in the rallies for a certain amount of time, but then they simply can't keep up the uh, shot quality. That's a good smash. Traffic jam to kill that one at the net. Eventually, the most experienced player, Dohani, took control. Oh, that's a big mistake. Almost moving backwards whilst returning. <laughs> a little smile. Not likely it was going to be a winner, had not touched the uh, toe of the tape. Mm. That was a challenge, that was a great smash by. Uh, Doha Hani, but was it actually on the line as Alain just suggested? The English combination disagree, but what does Hawker kind of say? Yeah, uh, it was unfortunately for the Egyptian, it was uh, wide left. The English pair reach 11 firsts, four points in front of uh, the points, 11-7. was uh, net player a bit more active. And, uh, Three, seven. Certainly the players know exactly what the meaning of that is, that uh, they have to uh, Five, seven. adjust their position a little bit um, from time to time at the net. Jessica Pugh made a good um, kill. Eight, three, eight, 
Oi. Totalist air shot. That's it's not so nice when there's uh, television on. You think people notice it a lot more than they actually do. That's a difficult shot to try it there. Dwayne Hardy immediately after the air shot wanted to uh, redeem himself. Executed faster. Footwork, defense, general shots, deceptions. Faster, more accurate. Other up eventually good follow ups by uh, Hobson and uh, Pew. Not sure it's Wernstrom is watching there, Marcus Ellis. I can actually see him from the commentary box, and he's not at all supporting. The British women here. He's watching closely on court one where Momota and Isija is uh, playing as uh, Hugh and Hopton takes the first game easily here, 21 10. Play. 
second game, level play. So second game on the way. Best rally of the match so far. Doha Honey couldn't get to that one. It's um, usually you know, sells her out a little bit with that push there. Not enough quality. 55 shots. I suppose that's the one that I've done for the match. Jessica Hopton. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, traffic jam. It's also only the third tournament together. As I mentioned, from the partnership in uh, Portuguese. International and played the uh, Spain Masters and it's the quarterfinal in uh, June. The Spain International some tees lower than uh, Spain yeah, Masters yeah. and uh, reached the semi final there. Six, 
Results with um, seven five. And the partners then Jess Pugh has uh, two runners up. Placements in the 2018 one with um, Jenny Moore lost the final of Estonian International to Boloto and Davidetto, who is also playing this tournament here. And then uh, one of the Irish International with uh, Victoria Williams. Nice shot. And a little bit of luck as well. And they're keeping it tight here in the uh, second game as well as in the beginning of the first game. Yushri and um, Hani. is about to uh, get revenge from his defeat at the All England earlier on this year to uh, Lee Si Jia. He's about to win uh, two straight games on uh, court two. On cross smashes and so on, and just from judging, um, I've seen here in, in this match here, Play. which I realize might be some um, percentages less than what they are capable of uh, producing Play. in uh, individual tournament play. Often in Pew, I think um, there's a task lying ahead of Graham uh, Hurl and uh, the two girls here figuring out how to score points because I could see that that could be a challenge also um, playing other opponents than uh, Hani and uh, Yule Street. That's well done. Turns over. 37. Doesn't look entirely comfortable moving to that forming corner usually. 
I'm interested in the single against the Steve Lou in this one. Set that up. Seven. Good service from uh, Jess Pugh. And the same uh, pattern as in most of the other games, except for the uh, women's single. Yes, yeah, perhaps so I've. So come on, dial. Time's over. 17 8. Follow up by Hopton. Excellent uh, smash towards the sideline by Jessica Pugh. Very difficult for the two Egyptian uh, women to uh, play anything else than a straight turn. So, match point opportunities for uh, Pugh and uh, Hopton. Dominant here in the uh, second part of the uh, second game. And good save. It's a good rally to uh, finish the match off. Mistake by Doha Hani and um, a logical uh, straight game victory to uh, these two women, Jess Pugh and Jess Hopton. Whilst Johnny Toyerson continues to write uh, autographs, he's a popular man here in uh, Vanta. These two can be um, satisfied, they've contributed a win. Confirmation of the score, 21-10, 21-9 in uh, 26 minutes. And uh, that also means that um, we have the result of the uh, overall tie here between England and Egypt. We don't yet have the result of um, Group D, but we know that Japan and uh, Malaysia is going to progress to the knockout stage. Here is the uh, final rally. A good one. Uh, a little bit too greedy on the drop shot there from uh, Doha Hani. Relatively uh, peaceful win for uh, the English side. And that also means that um, we have the uh, overall result of the tie, 5 nothing for uh, England. We can also uh, 
conclude that uh, Egypt did not succeed in winning a game in the uh, World Team Championship. Quite uh, convincing victory by um, a younger, younger um, English team. And um, that concludes the action for us here on uh, Court 2 for today. We are uh, back tomorrow with um, the quarterfinals. The draw for the quarterfinals happens later tonight. We're back tomorrow again, 10 o'clock uh, local time here from Vanta. Uh, I'm Steve Pedersen and I hope you want to join us tomorrow for more badminton at the Total Energies World Team Championship.